Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech and I just wanted to talk to you real quick about if you have a flux node that has the status of DOS, um, there's a couple reasons why this could happen. And you can see, I got a picture here, and you can see that status is DOS, DOS, and I know exactly what happened, but I see this question a lot in my Google research, so I wanted to share what to do to fix it. Now, I use PuTTY to manage my systems and make sure that things are updated, not only for my you know, Bitcoin node, the Apollo, everything else, but also to manage the Flux node. And so you see on your Zell core, it says DOS under status, and then you go to the Flux OS dashboard, and it also says DOS as well as we could see up here. Um, something happened. And for me, what specifically happened was my internet went out after I hit the start flux command. And there's a certain amount of time that you have. And if your internet isn't back up during that time, thank you Comcast, that can obviously cause this DOS status to appear, right? And you can see the eligible blocks. How I got here was on the dashboard. If you go to the FluxOS dashboard and, and you sign in, right, you validate through your Zelle ID uh, through Zelle Core, and you go to Flux Node, expand that, and go to Get DOS List, um, you can search by the wallet address. And when you do that, you can see when it will be eligible. And you can see the number over here on the right actually counting down. So when I first checked, it was around 25. And then when I checked again later on, it was around 23. I had to let it sit overnight. Now I should be able to go into my Zellcore um, wallet and actually hit the start function again now that my internet's up and running and, and a little bit more stable. But I want to go over some of the aspects. So how long can a node be offline before it expires? I started my node, but it went directly to the DOS state. If a node gets started in Zellcore and the start command is written to the blockchain, the node has to read the command and respond to it by starting within the next 60 blocks. If it fails to start within the 60 blocks, it will go into the DOS state or DOS state. 60 blocks, approximately 120 minutes. Every node in the network must confirm it's still up and running or working correctly by writing a status to the blockchain. If the network detects a node did not update its state within 120 to 160 blocks, it is marked as failed. So internet went down for a long period of time and caused me to be in this state and now I needed to wait in order to come back online. Um, and again, you can check that by going to your Flux OS node um, or your Flux OS page. On the left hand side, you will see Flux node, go to get DOS list, search your wallet address by filter and you should be able to see the when that how many blocks it is until you're able to start back up. What do I do when the node says DOS and Zellcore? Do, uh, DOS or DOS or DOS, however you want to say it, is related to a benchmark problem in the node. The DOS status will remain for six hours before you can restart the node. So I had to wait again overnight. And if you see this status, don't freak out. Just check your Flux OS dashboard under the Get DOS list. See how many blocks it will take. It probably will be, you know, if it's late night, probably will be the next morning that you can turn it, uh, hit start again inside your Zellcore wallet and go from there. But it's not something you need to panic about. If your benchmark is failing because you're not me meeting the minimum requirements for your Cumulus, Nimbus, or Stratus node, just check on your hardware, check on however you're running it. I'm running it through mine through a VM. Um, just check and make sure everything's functioning, storage, uh, internet connectivity, so on and so forth, and compare that against the requirements for these. But that's pretty much it, and I wanted to share that with you. Good luck to you. I'll have these articles linked down in the description. Uh, please do me a favor on the way out. Hit the like button. Make sure to get subscribed. Hit the notification button to stay up to date, and as well as check out some additional links in the description to help support the channel and what we do here. And I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.